Hey everybody, today we're going to color a bud root piece of artwork here. Uh, this is uh, an image of a character called Lilineth, and it's for Andy Smith's Cordrath comic book. It's a stretch goal, actually. It may or may not be in the book, this one, uh, because uh, it requires reaching to 100k to make it happen. So if you can, I'll leave a, a link in the description. And you can hopefully back this and uh, we can make this happen. So this is a great piece of art. I mean, by Bud, it's so fun. This you know, character is very mischievous and, and kind of bad girl-like. Um, so I'm gonna start to color it and you'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna color her, I think, today. It, it would take too long to, for me to color the whole thing. So. The first thing I do with coloring is I tend to hit the highlights uh, once I have a solid color. As you, as you can see, everything is flatted out. That means it's all um, the colors are, are uh, flat colors on a single layer, and that the layer is locked. And I've explained before in that to, that the uh, locking the layer um, keeps it being uh, from you can it won't affect anything else outside of your uh, outside of your image so I'm hitting the muscle groups highlight areas that sort of thing now I think I'm gonna go in I'm gonna select this black color here with my selection tool I mean my eyedropper tool uh, which is option you push option if you, if, you, if you have the brush tool selected in photoshop you push option and you get this eyedropper and you can just click on that so i, can, I want this blue i can get that i want this black I can get that so i want this black and i'm going to start to do a little bit of shading on here with a girl like uh a lilineth here um a beautiful girl you tend to want to not do harsh shadows so this is going to be everything's going to be kind of soft So I get my basics in here. You can see how effective you know locking that layer is because it just uh, I can go right off the side. I can color over here. It doesn't affect it. Very cool. By the way, the lock button is up here. In your if you have a layer selected right here, it says lock on the upper right hand corner here in your layers palette. And there's a little square thing, the first one. Click that, and it, you, you see you know, it locks it. See, it's unlocked. Push again, it's locked. It means nothing will be affected outside of that. So as you can see, I, I'm in, in shaping and molding this. I'm using the, uh, once you kind of have the, the basics down, I can just use my selection tool to uh, get things kind of right uh, you know different different shades of that color now Lilineth is she's not exactly albino so I want to warm this um, this coloring up later but just for now I'm just going to get my dark darks and lights a little bit of shadow there underneath that uh, for the uh, boot armor whatever it is kind of thing boot armory stuff so I think this is closing pretty soon this this campaign so you might want to get in on it you won't want to miss this if this gets in the book if I, like I said, if they reach their 100K stretch goal, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and you're not going to get it somewhere else. So you you want to be on you want to be there for that. So you want to sign up and uh, back it if you can. There's a, this Cordrath comic that Andy has created is total awesome barbarian action. It's uh, you know, 
<laughs> it doesn't pull back. It's it's total, you know, violence and adventure, and it's the way comics used to be. And unfortunately, they've kind of gone away from that. But uh, the good news is the crowdfunding comic books now have taken over, and a new kid in town, so to speak. And you can do the great comics that always were. And, you know, the comic books really were something in, the, in its, their heyday, and they will be again, thanks to the crowdfunding uh, platform. And I think, uh, I don't know if the hair is going over. Yeah, I want to take this hair out a little bit. You can see that hairline up there went too far, I can see. So I'm going to erase it a little bit. What's that on lips, not hair? See this. What I'm doing here is is really unusual. You couldn't do this, in, in, you know, fast enough and make money at it. Uh, I'm I got layers here on everything. Just on Lilith herself. There's uh, these action lines. There's her armor. This little heart is on a separate layer. Horns and nails, hair, lips, her body, skin and uh, eyes and teeth and wings. All that stuff is on different layers. Now, I went and, and, and did that whole bit, so it's a rather complicated process. Like I said, take, it's too time-consuming. But since it's only four pages, I thought, I'm just going to pull out all the stops and just go for it and give, you know, give uh, the reader something a little special. Because Bud has really you know, done some special work here. So I think that I need to kick it up a notch and try to you know, come as close as I can to matching his skill set in this because it's really really amazing what he's done let's see i gotta try to get a little more room on my palette here okay so it looks pretty good uh, so far let me get in a little more detail now that i got kind of the basics in here now when coloring a face painting a face You want to get your shadows in and stuff like that. You know, the shadows underneath the eye, around the eyelid and stuff like that. For kind of a bad girl kind of thing. Um, but when it comes to the nose, especially in a beautiful girl, you want to not go... You don't want too many shadows, but, but you still have to define the form. So, you know, I will go in here a little bit and get it. So it's just there, and usually I add a little highlight on the nose just to kind of put together but see now it pulls out from the background and that's what you need something like that to pull out a little bit maybe around the right here where the, uh, the mouth is that bridge is in there um, now what I'm gonna do too is, is I'm gonna take out some of these lines that Bud has put in here that's information for me he's saying hey this is what I want this is what I want you to color it like Dan and I'm gonna follow that but I'm gonna take it out just so her skin looks a little smoother um, so trying to make this really beautiful and you trust me to do that I, I believe and I hope Bud <laughs> trust me to do this so that's the ticket okay see it's not it's not a whole lot more than this really with a beautiful girl it's, it's you know, don't overcomplicate it She's a real doll, you know, a really, really cute kid here. That's so, uh, oops, I don't want to give her a five o'clock shadow. But I do want to indicate the chin here. So chin, cheeks, nose, you know, that kind of thing. Now I'm going to get in here with a little bit of nice color. So I'm using a pink first. You literally like putting on makeup like on this person. So it's like blush, you know. But I'm, I'm trying to warm up those, you know, just get it a little bit warmer. I'm going to use, it's too pink for me, so I'm going to use it more of an orange. Get in here too. But you can see suddenly she's kind of, uh, you know, she's got a little color in her face. And uh, I don't want her to be, uh, you know, she is cute. So you're kind of uh, working with that, you know, kicking that cuteness up a little bit. So that's not bad. That's, the colors are okay. Kind of fun. So yeah, not 
bad, not bad. I'm going to do the eyes, actually. He's got really, she's got very reflective eyes. Now, with an eyeball, when you paint them, you know, it's not white. You think, oh, it's white. Oh, eyeball will be white. Nope. It's a little bit off white. That's what gives it the realism. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, that pink, uh, you know, uh, flesh in here. Like just, you know, in, in the eye, inner eye part. Oops, went a little too far. Oops. So that may be good enough, you know. I mean, I could, you know, there's there's a, a desire here, maybe, you know, usually you add a little hot spot, a little reflective thing on the eye, and that's a possibility. We'll see if I want to do that or not because it's eye so interesting I don't want to I don't want to take away from it so I'm gonna come back and re revisit that again okay uh, lips she has I think purple dark purple lips Now, this is an interesting thing. I'm, I'm not doing a whole lot to, to the lips, uh, and color-wise. And if you've watched my video on uh, painting metal, metal surfaces, there's a lot of information in there about actually how painting reflective surfaces, and that applies to things like lips, which are wet. You know, and and if you want it to be a color, you don't you know take like this and go, oh, a lot of colors. You know, we got to make that shiny, super shiny. Well, that's okay. Uh, but if you want, to, especially like a woman like this, and you want that color, you want to make color in your thing, just that can be just a solid color. And suddenly that's, you know, that's fine. It's cute. No more work on the teeth a bit here. Going to add some blue in there, some blue shadow. So this is coming along kind of fun okay what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go to my line art here I'm going to create a um, uh, a mask here and I'm because I don't want to lose this artwork I just want to I want but I want to knock it out just for now so I, I create a mask up here the mask mode is down here, this this rectangle with the hole in it. And anything I draw, if I click on that part of it, this this square, you know, the, the uh, I think that's next to the line art. Oh, I'm going to make this just a different color here, just so you can see that's blue. That The blue is the line art. So this is the, the art, and then this is the mask. So if I, anything I color on here with black, like, it'll just see, I can just take that out. If I want to, but the great thing about it is I can recover it because it's, it's just a mask. So I go right back in there, and there it is. So if I want to just you know, and I'm going to probably do this, just soften these a little bit. You know, just get in here and make it so it's not so harsh. Because I'll, I'll I'll do this with color. Again, you know, but hopefully he doesn't mind me uh, sitting here and, and playing with this. But he doesn't say anything so far, so <laughs> I can't apologize, bud, if I'm messing with your stuff. But um, like I say, it's, to me, it's the information's there. Like I can, it's all told, you know. Um, that's he indicated it with with the black line, and I'm going to just indicate it then with color. I'm following what he, I'm following his lead. He, he's 
point me in the right direction, saying, this is what I want you to do, Dan. And I say, okay, gotcha. Okay, she's looking real super cute. I think that's all I want to dare to take out or knock back slightly. Um, the teeth maybe just a little bit, just so we can get that. I don't want to lose it. Just <laughs> isn't that great? What a great image. I saw this and said, oh my gosh, I get the color that's it's funny as heck. Some of this stuff I will take out and or diminish. Not not necessarily completely take out, just kind of like like because I want to see it, I still want to see it's what what to do, what's there. That he wants me to indicate that, so I'm gonna put indicate that. Yeah, make this line a little bit softer. You can see that the, this is something way beyond anything you're going to get in comics today. Like the the, the care and and the, the that we are putting into this particular art is really really over the top. I mean, I'm painting this. Is what's going on here. Now the neat thing is, if I want to see this again, I just go over to here, and I, I right-click, disable layer, layer mask, and I can see it all. Okay, you know, so I can check back with it, and uh, make sure that I'm doing what he wants me to do with it. He has given me information, information, and I am going to use that information to complete the, the image. lose it all right at the beginning like I may go back and even get rid of this a little bit more but I don't want to lose it completely I'm sort of I, I sort of erase it enough to, to kind of see it and then get in there paint it and then I may get remove more of it later but I want to I still want to see where it's at I need that target he's giving me the target aim here Dan aim here I want the neat gap here okie dokie Got you covered. Got you covered, bud. Zooming in. Okay, that looks kind of fun. Let's just tackle this leg here. Got the information I, have, I need now. Let's see how I would do it. Okay, back to lowness, layer with lowness. Uh, body on it. Leg muscle coming up here. She's got a little bit of muscle to her, you know, she's. So I'm gonna indicate all that. Now when it comes to the, to the uh, knee, uh, you, you kind of, it's pretty gnarly, yeah, even on a beautiful girl, you know, there's lots of bends and twists and stuff. So you want to keep that in mind. I like, I mean, I still want to keep it light though. Let's 
the smoothness. So many women today that they, they, they draw them like men. I'm like it's not it's not what a woman looks like, you know. Have you seen a woman? I mean, generally speaking, the, the female form is is a soft form. I mean, you have bodybuilders and stuff. That's fine, but I'm just saying the uh, sort of the essence of a woman's is much softer. You want to play this as strength. You want you know that you want the male to be super man manly. It's you're telling stories here, you're telling tall tales. When you do that. You gotta make everything more. So if someone's feminine, you make them more feminine. If someone's funny, you make them more funny. If someone's you know, tough, you make them more tough. And if a woman's feminine, you make her more feminine. So I'm really just <laughs> like I said, you could you couldn't make any money, you know coloring like this where I'm spending hours just painting it. But for, for, for Andy and Bud, you better believe I'm going to step up to the plate. Do something really special and cool. Because they have. So you got to match them. If you can. Give it everything you got. You can see that's, that's essentially kind of done. I may go back and revisit that a little bit. But... Let me see, I'm gonna go over here and just take a look and disable this. He wants this muscle here. So now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna actually follow that. Get that muscle in there. He wants that muscle indicated and this and a little bit of that and a little bit of rib cage. Okay, so I can get rid of that now. And I'm gonna follow that. See that information? Whoops, I'm still in the other layer. Oops. I do that all the time. Let me see my history here. Enable layer mask. Okay, I'm back to where I was. Okay, back to little enough. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm really working on this rib cage, trying to Im indicate that a little bit. The boob section here, and you know, it's a little tricky trying to get that shaded, but so I'm gonna put a little bit of indication here. It's getting there, it's getting there. I want the top side of this rib cage to be a little bit lighter, catching a little bit more light there. Soften this up. Again, soft lighting. Okay, this is coming along. It's starting to look right. She's got a little muscle in there, you know. She's 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 a pretty fit kid. Pretty fit. kind of soften this whole area in here a little bit. I don't think that's come along. What do y'all think of that? See, I want to get, I want definitely want to change this. I mean, want to curve this area. If you've seen my drawing, my tutorial on drawing women, you know there's three sections, in essence, of a woman. you got your rib, you got your butt, and you got the section in between connecting them. So that's a good that's a good one. A lot of people are looking at that video watching it and learning from it. So that's good. And this is how I figured things out and uh, you guys can now see that. Which is fun. It's a lot of fun to sort of say, hey look what I figured out and check it out and Get out of teaching those things, passing those tricks on to each other. 
learning tips and tricks from each other. It's fun. Get to be a better artist. Okay. Now I could do something here where um, I get a little bit of a secondary shadow, like um, like maybe a little bit as reflecting, and I do a little bit of like this. If I want to, I don't know. We'll see. I may or may decide not to do that. Now, Bud has this line coming up here, so I'm going to indicate that with color. Let me take a look again where it goes. Okay, it's going up like that. Oops, I'm on that, still on that same layer. <sighs> Back down to this one. I'm just gonna lock that layer because, okay, then I can't screw it up again. Okay, see so that that curves up like that, so that's kind of fun. I may try to go a little darker with that too, actually. Really push this thing. Really working on these boobs. Dedicated man. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna get over here and take out some of this line work here. Cause I, I'm gonna make it soft. Some of the muscles a little bit. Okay, now get in here and I'm going to try to pull that same way he's done it. Now he has some line work here, if I remember right. Let's take a look again. He's got um, two sets of. Uh, Sort of shadows that come down here. One sort of the center. And then this one. Now this, you know, gets back to my figure drawing. The male anatomy. This kind of halter top type thing. That's where you indicate where your... Where the muscle line is. And you kind of overdo it sometimes, then you go back and soften it. You play with it, sort of just try to get it right, just right. Want that Goldilocks kind of, uh, just right. All right. It's coming along. I'm not sure what time I'm at. I might, I may have to stop this with hands. How far is this in? I don't know. I don't want to make this too long. I may not do I'm not going to do the whole thing, probably. But you're getting the idea of, you're seeing how I kind of approach this. Sometimes I want a little bit of a, almost a highlight here with like kind of like a fat fold, you know, that those things kind of make things a little more realistic. Maybe not. We'll see. Sometimes with skin, especially in the folded areas, you don't want it to be too perfect. When things start looking too perfect, they don't look right anymore because the skin isn't perfect. And a little bit unrealism is realistic. Or a little bit of uh, the imperfections and stuff.
see, this is just, it's just make, it's a matter of decisions. I'm making a, there's a zillion little decisions here I'm making. really um, sort of a general almost like a uh, tan line so to speak for her so I'm gonna darken this a little bit more I don't want the boobs to be white you want to be just just you want to be pretty darn these are the softest things in the world so you gotta make them pretty soft see how that's coming along though I think it's working Got a little more indication. I want a little bit of a, a plane here, a little more of the rib muscle here, or I mean a bone. Being, but again, it's got to be subtle. Lights hitting that. About on the pathway down. A little too dark here. That shadow, that light, that highlight's a little tricky. You want to get it just right, you know, because it kind of looks a little, a little bit of a shine in there. It's sort of off the breastbone. Shaping and molding. Shadow underneath those armor bits. With the hand, you can really kind of, uh, you know, get some variation and kind of play with it. Uh, so I'm going here, as you notice, I'm kind of doing this sort of dark at first. Oh, it's a little dirty. And then, kind of just soften it up a little bit. It starts to look like there's some folds and bends and highlights and stuff. Let's see. I'm trying to get the bone to work here. See just how much work we're putting into this, just how much. So you're, this is not a normal comic book. You're not, you're, you're guys, you know, Andy's pulling out everything he's got. That's what's great about the crowdfunding. You can sit here and, and uh, work on a comic book and just make it just incredible. And it's extraordinary and fun. And the other, the big companies can't do that because they can't, they're not paying people enough. So. And you, you just you couldn't you know say if you're in the, making a living you, you there's no way you could do this working for a major comic book company so create your own characters do your own thing and you can sell that thing again to the next generation you own it it's really that's the, that's the ticket think of Jack Kirby and all these guys who created all these characters and <laughs> they don't own them Marvel does. They didn't get any money out of it. So create your own character. You can control it. You can spend more time on it. You can make it great. See, just like this. I just like I'm, I'm working on this, making this thing, this arm, just painting it until it's really fun, and the reader gets it, and they're like, "Wow, that whole and as as a collective thing, it looks great." And like, "Wow, that is really neat." something really special something someone really you know put their time into it really had time for one thing to put into it so cool
Cool, cool, cool. Okay, it's working. It's working. That's what I want to know. Okay, let's do these. Uh, here are the trucks outside. I don't know if you hear those, but the garbage trucks. Nails. Little highlight perhaps on the nail. Or let's see, or not. Okay, that body is rocking. Kind of. Yeah, it's coming along. Coming along. Let me get a little more. Kind of shape that a little. So you can see that just, I mean, it's the subtleties of what you're doing. It's just like. Okay. That's good. Now, you know what I can do? Let's say I, I okay, I, I've got this and it's kind of gray and I want to add some color. Well, I can go over here to my layer you know add a layer down here this little square with the heart with its plus sign on it and i can do a clipping mask right here go pull up the right click and create a clipping mask now this will clip this it does the same thing as locking the layer this is this layer is going to be now locked into with that and i can do a, a layer make it a multiply and i can add a little bit of color to that without affecting anything so if i want to just now add just a little bit of you know, warmth that it multiplies it with what's there, and that's good. You can get a little turn. You know, as the light goes through a skin, it you know literally sort of bounces off the blood and just it gives a little bit of warmth. So that's just you know that's an option there. I have make that even a little more. Well, I'm going to use actually a little bit of pink. So I'm just, I can now just play with the colors a bit. Maybe I want to make them add a little blue. That's not cool enough for me. So, and then there's so many subtleties of this too. Now I could just go and take that layer and, and, and move the opacity in. So it's even you know, more subtle or fully at uh, 100% up here in the opacity bar. Generally speaking, I'd like to control it myself, though. I mean, just paint it right. Get it right the first time, so to speak. Okay, so you can see that a lot of interesting things I can do here. And adding the color. So when you see this piece finished, you'll see, oh, there's yeah, there's color in there that, because I'm not gonna, I'm, I'd say I'm not gonna do this whole thing online. Okay, subtleties, that sort of thing. But I'm gonna take that off right now. But you can see the difference here. I'm clicking it on, clicking it off. We'll see. A lot of it's got to do with too when I do the background. I'm not decided yet on what I'm gonna do with the background. So um, when that happens, actually, let me just let me just go over here with some multiply over a lot of areas here. Just kind of maybe just a nice orangey color. And you can see I can kind of just warm the whole thing up. You see that? Now it's actually not so blue. So very, I'm barely touching the, 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 the Wacom tablet, you know. So that's, that's the kind of thing. See, it's, it's just a little warmer. Subtle, but you can see it. See it? Okay. Cool, warmed. So that's cool. Of course, you can also use this multiply layer to do shading, which it, it, that, that's really cool. Let's say I want to hang on a second. I've got the the eraser. I want the brush. Watch this. Fascinating, really. 
I could do something like that. If I wanted to shade her, see? I may do something like that. We'll see what happens in the end. Let's bring up my history so I can go back and forth. Okay. See? Shading. Cool, huh? Awesomeness. The control you have in Photoshop is just amazing. So I think I might stop here. I don't know what we'll see. Let me, let me do the face a little more. Because I feel like the face is not, it's got a little too much shading down here. And I want to get, bring in just a little bit of this. See how subtle all this stuff is? Very subtle. I mean, I gotta remind myself of his um, indications. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get this thing here. Wait a minute. Get back on the uh, little nth color layer. Okay, I want this muscle indicated here, this muscle indicated here. Subtle still. Okay, that's kicking. That's working. I like it. And go in here and just where her smiliness is. Make sure that's done, doing working good. Don't want to overpower the drawing, obviously though. You know, Bud's nailed it. You gotta let the let the thing let the thing work for you. you well, know, he's got a little bit of indication here of uh, he's trying to indicate even that line indicating the uh, shadow underneath this smile a little bit, just a little bit of fat there. Okay, the nose. I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, shadow underneath it, perhaps. Gonna be really careful here too. That don't overdo it. And lose his uh, super cuteness that he's uh, put in here. He put a lot of work into this, so you got to really respect everything he's doing here. Okay. shape of this muscle so it kind of goes up here and you start to get a little bit like there so you can have it kind of darker underneath the chin but be careful you don't give that five o'clock shadow got to shade underneath the ears very subtly yes Okay, I'm thinking this is fun, isn't it? That's great. I'm gonna get a little more. Um, I'm gonna get some, you know, cheeks, cheeks and ears tend to get color. You can go in there, throw in the color, then you can kind of, you know, take. Lighten them up a little bit, but you got the color. In. I often do that. I'll go in sort of heavy at first on things, and then come back later and just knock them back a little bit subtly. Subtlety is the key. Okay, what do you think, guys? Guys and gals. 
She looked like she's gonna, she's she looks like trouble. I don't know, dudes. I would stay away from this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I like it. it looks good. I'm gonna work on. You know, maybe just do a quick one. Uh, just just do some armor here. So you just see how there's really little done on the armor. See how quickly the armor can be done. That's about it. See that? That's it. Maybe it'll make your flex a little bit light here. See, so just you don't have to do much when it comes to armor. Again, watch my video on painting armor. Um, you can make this armor darker, lighter, but it isn't real complicated. I want to look at make it look shiny. That's the thing. I could actually see on these edges here. I can add, add a little white shine. If I'd like to, or I may not do. I may take it out. So, I think I don't like it. So, uh, or I may just, I may leave it, but I'll downplay it, you know. This one doesn't have a shadow on it. I'm going to put one on it. Give a little shine to it. Okay. We want to get the underside of this metal with some dark. That gives it its shape. that see looking all right get that blue color coming in there though no, don't want to lose you would you don't want to overdo you know overdo it overdo it and it's not so good anymore keep that color and I might as well finish the heart You see what I did there? Hardly anything. And the heart suddenly a shiny little dark heart. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna take this, I think. Oh, you know what? Let me just do hair. Gosh, <laughs> you can see how I am. Like, I wanna show you how simple hair is. I, you wanna break it down with your basics. Highlight here. Hit some of the highlights, basic highlights. Again, it's like metal, it's like watching that tutorial on painting metal. You're, you're, you're kind of painting metal of sorts. And this is just the beginning. So, see now you see when I add a little bit lighter, it's, it's, it suddenly looks silvery. But I want I don't want silver. I want I want it to be uh, like a white blonde or whatever. You know, she's kind of she's got white hair, but it's it, I want that to be uh, have color and, and, and beauty in it. Um, see now I get in here with the highlights and kind of just follow along a little bit. You can start to see it start to pop out.
Now I'm going to go in here and probably do a lot of lightening up of this of his hairlines, but not too much. Just subtly. I don't want to lose these. He's got really. She's got really great hair. She did. He spent a lot of time on the hair, and I got to make sure I honor that and keep that. See how that's working? Working better. And I'll use color then and to, to uh, put in the shadows and so it's not so gray. I can get silver. You know, I want white. Okay. This is as far as I'm going to take it right now, guys. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> She's going to be so cool. Um, I gotta be careful. I don't know if I power that face though. I gotta go back and revisit that. I can see right away. I just need, you know, didn't need to let, let Bud's art shine through a little bit more. Watch the blueness of this. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go, I already did kind of put a warmth over it. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Gonna do the, you know, the wing shouldn't be a problem. The background, I have to decide on what I want to do with the background. Uh, I have a, he sent me a color sample, so I will follow that. So again, folks, uh, this is going to happen only if Andy's Cordrath comic book reaches 100K. And they're, they're like 93 or something. They're not far away. So tell everybody about it. Uh, he's, he's almost there. And it, it ends pretty soon. The, the, and so, and this hopefully will be in it. So I appreciate y'all checking in watching me color today and uh, look forward to seeing this you'll you'll see this pretty soon on twitter uh my post that you know dan lawless on twitter or uh, andy smith andy smith art is we i think is his handle on uh on twitter and uh that's it for today see you all later oh yeah don't forget to like and share and all this kind of stuff you know pass it around and help me grow my channel so I can do more stuff like this. If you like it, help me grow it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. See you guys. Bye.